am Chef Sabrina Del Ben and today I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to make a risotto. Using the proper rice and some straightforward cooking techniques, you'll have the perfect plate of creamy fennel risotto. If you start this dish 30 to 40 minutes before serving, you'll have perfect timing. Using the proper rice for a risotto is vital for its success. You don't want to be using the long grain varieties because they have a starch in them that doesn't allow them to stick together. You want to use a short to medium grain rice like an arborio. It's that stickiness that's going to help make the sauce creamy. So before we hit the stove for cooking, let's talk about the fennel that's in this dish. And a lot of people wonder what fennel tastes like or how to work with it. And essentially, it's like a celery and onion have been combined, and it has a nice uh, anise or black licorice flavor to it. And you'll have the bulb part right here, and then we've got these fronds and stalks here. I like to cut these off. Okay, so I'm going to be putting these into the fridge until I need them for my next recipe. So now we're going to start with the bulb part of the fennel. You want to cut through this root part of the vegetable and cut straight down and then lay them down onto their flat sides. And then we're going to be cutting slash marks through the fennel, just not all the way through so that it's being held together by that root part. And I make one slash mark this way and then I'm going to be cutting straight through those to make a dice. So the other ingredients we need to get started on this dish are some olive oil, some minced garlic, some onions, our diced fennel, we have some white wine, and chicken broth. So we're going to need two pots for this dish. The first one is to make the actual risotto in. The other one is to heat up our broth on the side. So I'm going to start out by putting my broth into the pot to keep warm on the back burner. And I'm going to add my olive oil into this pan. And we're going to start by sauteing our onions for about two minutes. So once the onions are translucent, we're going to be adding in our minced garlic and our diced fennel and cooking those for about another two minutes. So next we're going to be adding our rice. So we're just going to stir that around to make sure that all the rice grains are completely covered in the oil. So I can hear this sizzling sound coming from the pan, from the rice. Now's the time to be adding our wine. If you prefer not to use wine at this point, you could use chicken broth. It's only going to change the flavor mildly, so don't worry about that. Once the wine is absorbed, you're going to want to add your chicken broth in stages. Don't add it all at once, otherwise you won't get that nice creamy consistency. So we're going to start out by adding one cup of the broth. And now you want to stir this quite frequently because it's the stirring and the knocking off of the starches into that broth that's going to give you that creamy consistency. Once this broth is absorbed, I'm then going to keep adding one half cup at a time, stirring it frequently until it's done. So I'm going to be adding another half cup of the broth. And this whole process only takes about 20, 25 minutes total. So I've added all the chicken broth at this point and the rice is al dente which means it's firm to the tooth but not mushy. So I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm just going to go through with you the ingredients that we're going to add to finish this dish off. I've got some gouda, some mozzarella, some thawed frozen peas, some sliced green onions, some chopped parsley, fresh lemon juice and fresh lemon zest. So once those ingredients are all thoroughly stirred into the risotto we're going to finish it off with a little bit of whipping cream. And once that's all stirred in, we are ready to serve this beautiful creamy fennel risotto into our nice pasta bowl. You could top this with some shaved or grated Parmesan cheese. And there you have it, creamy fennel risotto. This can be found in our 2010 Holiday Collection Cookbook or on our website. Join me next time for more great recipes and kitchen safety tips on Shaw TV. As part of your home maintenance routine, be sure to have all of your natural gas appliances, including your natural gas stove, inspected once a year by a qualified technician to ensure they're operating properly. For more recipes and information, call the number on the screen or visit the website.